Hi guys! As you can tell from the thumbnail, today I'm going to talk to you about The Art of Racing the Rain by Garstein, which is the most incredible book. It's definitely my favourite of this year. But first I shall give you a quick summary because this book is very plot driven, so I'm not going to spoil too much because it will just get not as good. But basically the book opens with Enzo the golden retriever, telling you about how he lives with his owner Denny and about all his ph philosophies about being a dog. Basically he thinks that if you're a good dog in life then you'll be reborn as a human and you'll get to live out your second life with your opposable thumbs but basically Enzo believes that if you're good then you always get another chance at life. And he lives with Denny who is a Formula One driver but he's an amateur and he just loves racing in the rain because that's what they always watch, they always watch on telly um, old videos of uh, Denny's favourite race car drivers who are always the best in the rain that becomes a metaphor later on in the book for really sad things that I'm not going to tell you about but basically the book starts with Enzo telling you about how he was the best puppy in the litter and he gets picked up by Denny and then he takes him home and they grow up together for a little while but then his life is a bit disrupted because Denny gets a girlfriend called Eve and then they have a daughter called Zoe and it's about Enzo trying to cope with them but also he's just such a saviour of the family but he's very old and this book's told in like a really nice way because the structure of it is that Enzo tells you about when he was a puppy but then he jumps ahead to when he's older because he's telling this story all in retrospect and how Denny copes with some awful things that happen in his life. Um, but those three are the main characters and also there are the grandparents of Zoe who are the main characters too and it's just about Enzo's struggle with Denny and how he has to look after his master and how much he wants to speak to him at times but he can't and it's just so touching when that happens because he really wants to help him and he needs to give him some advice or some just some encouragement now and again and it just breaks your heart because obviously Danny, Danny doesn't tell but the ending of this book I would honestly recommend this book just on the pure fact that the last 20 pages are the most emotionally charged pages ever if you're not a fan of predictability I probably would not recommend this as much because you'll be able to tell exactly where it's going partly because Enzo says at the start what's going to happen to Denny's wife and him you know what's going to happen to all of the characters but it's kind of like not a predestination story but uh, how you can shape your fate because one thing that they say all the way through is you manifest what's before you and it's just such a well written metaphorical book and I tweeted Garth Stein like thank you so much because I finished this off in the back and I was just in tears, I absolutely adored it but he's got like another four books so I think that I'm going to definitely read those and hope that they're narrated by some sort of animal that I enjoy. This has been a very gushy video, I realise that I have not stopped for breath about once but I am now finished because again this is a very plot driven novel, I don't want to spoil anything about it, I have no gripes about it whatsoever. It was just such an amazing book and I would give it 5 out of 5 stars for The Art of Racing in the Rain. So I hope that's really convinced you to read this book. I really want someone to talk about it with because there's just so much philosophy that I just want to be like about. So yeah, please read it and let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!